Hey everyone, it's Tiffany from Let's Get Scrappy and I have a few little minis to share with you. Um, these are for my daughter's best friend, which is Ruby. She's getting married this summer and they're getting ready to go on a bachelorette trip. So my daughter wanted me to make some um, mini albums. Let me try to move up the camera. Um, and it's a little dark over there. Doo -doo -doo. Okay, that's better. So she wanted, of course, mm -hmm, one per bridesmaid. <laughs> and in the colors that they're wearing. So this is each of their dresses. So I was just gonna quickly, because I do have to run them over to my daughter, I thought I'd share them with you guys, but it's just a three and a half, my light is moving without anyone touching it, three and a half by four and a half little mini album with a one inch spine. Ooh, and I need to put something right there. I'm glad I looked um, because I need to add a little strip and there might be a couple more things. So that's why I'm kind of doing a last little um, check. But I just, this is all stuff for my stash. And when I say I thought this was going to be easy, no. It was hard doing it by color. And colors that work nicely together. So I just have on here some flowers, some stickers from a Simple Stories um, wedding collection. These are from, I think it's always and forever from Simple Stories. And I matted it on white and then the gold used a little doily die. Here is the back. So I used some of this Prima collection throughout. So it's the colors with, with gold. So you'll see some elements of gold. So we're just gonna do a quick flip through. Um, the inserts are all the same. So it's just a little insert here. And she's taking my little sprocket um, printer with her. So this will fit the two by three photos. Um, so opens up like this and all the books are exactly the same. So it has three signatures like that. And this flips up, has a magnet in there. Can you, I can't even tell what you guys can see right now. And then in hers, I put a tag. I didn't put it in everyone else's mainly because, you know, I ran out of time and didn't know if my daughter would like it. And she's like, oh, it'd be fine if you did it, but I don't have time. <laughs> They leave tomorrow morning. So, um, just, did I open that? Yes, I did. Okay. And then this one opens like this. So this is the second signature. And this is enough to fit, what do we have? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Let's just say at least, you know, you know, from 25 to 30 photos. Um, this was a vellum piece that I put on here and I did put tape down thinking you wouldn't see it, but you can, but it's okay. I think it still works. It's a nice clean border. <laughs> oh, well, and then just, I did some touches of the colors from the collection in here. So there's just like a little bit of the pink, green. There isn't blue in here because I didn't really have, like that's the most blue that I could find that went with it. Again, a little photo mat. So it's just random pieces put together. This was really difficult, just saying. But they're gonna like it anyways. So it is what it is at this point, right? So here is the pink one. So for Emily, all of them will have this on the spine. I think the pink one I like the best just because I had more pink that had the gold in it, the gold foil. I used a washi tape on the inside because why not use a washi tape, right? Did I finish? Okay, I finished that. Make sure something was sticky and it's not supposed to be because I do not have magnets on this one. Let me grab my little eraser. It's probably some repositional. 
I, I have glue like all over my fingers. <laughs> I literally had like three days to bust these out. She told me a long time ago and of course I thought this would be easy. No, it was not, not easy at all. Okay, so we have the pink. Now the yellow, and this is the back of the yellow. These papers are from all I destroyed my craft room. Trying to open up to find papers that can work together. Literally destroyed my craft room. And I see a little piece of glue in there. Get out, all the way out. And give me a little pokey tool. Whew, I am out. And I still have some other projects I need to make. So there's that. And this flips up like so. A little. Did I finish the inside of this one? I don't know. Oh, I did. I keep surprising myself because I kept forgetting to do that piece. Lots of yellow. That one doesn't really go. <laughs> but it kind of had all, oops, I just hit the camera, had all the colors, and Vanessa liked that sheet. But, you know. Again, oh, oh, did I not glue this on? Where did, did, where did I have that in there? I don't even know where this would have been right there. I'll look at it and glue that on. See, sometimes I like tuck things to see if I like it, and then I forget to go back and glue it down. I just have to make sure that all the pages are glued down on the outside because I, again I kind of attach them and then see if I like it and then I'm supposed to glue it but I did forget on some of the covers. I did the flowers and the cover part wasn't even glued all the way. So Taylor, this is the green dress like so. And opens up like this. I said I kind of did the same format. I put this print on all of them just to try to speed up the process. But I did want some elements, you know, besides just a solid. I finished that one, yay! And that is the green. Now we will do the blue. And we are finished. Okay, here is the blue one. Oh, look at that with my nails. And the back side there. I struggled on the blue. I, it might have took me like two hours to find some blues. Besides, of course, I have just solids. But I didn't want solids. I wanted there to be some... Pattern. So I had to, you know, that doesn't, it's not all blue, but it's, it's working. <laughs> it doesn't have a choice. And there's that first signature. And then this is a flip up. Lots of photos, like I said, can fit in this little baby. And there you go. I don't have a tutorial for this one specifically. Um, I mean, let me know if you guys want one. I'll see if I can get one made. It's just a really simple like signature where you have the f first signature is a sheet that is six and a half by nine and a half. I score at three and a quarter on the six and a half. Turn it on the nine and a half side, I score one inch so I could have a little gusset to close the bottom of the pocket. And then I score at five. And then you have to do your little trickery to get the one signature. Yeah, I, you guys are going to make me do a tutorial, aren't you? Okay. Um, <laughs> I'll just stop there. But there you guys go. That is just a quick little walkthrough of these five albums that I had to bust out. So that's why you guys haven't really seen anything from me in a minute. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think. And be sure to hit that like button if you like this walkthrough. And if you haven't subscribed, please make sure that you do. So that way you can see future projects. Thanks for watching. Bye.